height, height. This may be what I looked like last night. <laughs> About the time I was going to, you know, start getting ready to go to sleep. Susie called, and our friend who broke her leg, for those that have not been following the story, we had a friend who break her, broke her leg. Fell. Now, there's this thing, like, who in their right mind would put a woman who's 60, who has very little core strength, on crutches? Now, I don't know if you all have ever been on crutches, but they're not easy at my age, or our age, or a older person's age. No, they're not. So, she fell. And we finally got to the bottom of the problem. Because, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm just like going, who set up her, you know? Because they now have this cool thing, like if you go to the hospital, they have like, you know, a social worker and a, relief, a nurse and, you know, they figure out like, are you going to be okay to go home? If not, then they find some alternative thing for you. Well, so we had her sign HEFA releases. You have, to, you have to have HEFA releases if you have a friend who's in the hospital who has no family. You, somebody has to have these so that you can talk to people. So basically, to make a long story short, okay, this is the reader condensed version. She's gay. She thinks the social worker doesn't like her. She doesn't trust her then, so she doesn't want to go to the rehab center, which had been the recommendation. <sighs> I've known the, the social worker in question for about 25 years. She didn't care. The medical profession these days, they don't care. So anyway, again, to make a long story short, leg um, after some tests were done was fine. She's in the rehab center. Hallelujah. And know the woman. Yeah. Wonderful social worker. I, I was actually almost insulted when she told me which social worker she had dealt with. I had uh, at one point almost had to have brain surgery. <laughs> And she, I asked for the social worker because if it had, luckily, I had a really bad blood clot, it, but it resolved itself. It, where it was, it was common that sometimes they resolve themselves. But if not, I had set up, you know, I, I had requested, because we really only have one hospital here, but... So anyway, I just have an off day. I'm behind. I finally got my sheets changed. So I'm fluffing my pillows now. I always fluff my pillows. I have down pillows and I just think they're cooler. And uh, <laughs> if you watch the Snapchat, you've already heard, but you didn't hear the best part. I tore the other one. See this? Just rattle. We wanted some kind of emoji balls or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if it's the boba, like those little tapioca things that my granddaughter wanted. Well, anyway, uh, you know, here we. Oh, I, oh, and I got pink nail polish off. Very important that I tell you this. But most places, it's like made with real, you know juices or natural flavoring only in Japan it is made with real sugar I tell you raw moon this was orange flavor then on top of it um, I tore Kylie's apart and that is an actual glass marble in something you drink seriously as Chris Ann would say, serious I because <laughs> I had ripped off the 
um, I poured hers in a glass and ripped off this top, which is not very easy. I doubt that a child could swallow that. But hello, <laughs> common sense. Because, I mean, I take pliers to get this off. But, not buying one of these again. I, I took her to the Asian market and I was so busy getting caught up with the, the woman who owns the Asian market and stuff. And she said, oh no, that's fine, that's fine. So I trusted her. I'm not trusting her again when it comes to my grandchildren. A glass marble in a bottle made with real sugar. Not artificial sh sugar, not pretend sugar, but real sugar. Well, I am eating a Lunchable, uh, fluffing my two pillows. I can only fluff two at a time. I have, you know, one of those stackables. Not the biggest thing in town. I need to wash. I just need to wash everything, to be honest. Um, uh, so I'm going to eat my Lunchable then like drink another cup of coffee this will be my well uh, like third three-fourths cup or over a half not full cups of coffee but i am going to record baking tacos because somebody i don't know who it was i can't remember now because i keep thinking was it becky but anyway I will show you how I make big tacos. It's like so easy. And I love them. And I, 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 I don't know. It's just one of those days. I don't know. It's not, it's, you know, cooler today. It's in the um, mid 80s. So it's like, yo. I don't know. I'm just tired from last night. I, you know, because I think I only got, in reality, maybe three, three hours of sleep, maybe four. I just couldn't sleep. I mean, I slept, and the, well, I couldn't go to sleep. So then I went to sleep, and then I just woke up, and I couldn't go back to sleep. So, oh well. Not the first night I've lived without sleep. <laughs> I'm starting the tacos. Look, it's this way. Tacos, then shower, hopefully get my nails painted. I have a thing to go to tomorrow. I don't think I'd be actually cooking tacos tonight except one. <laughs> I bought the hamburger several days ago. This is the third day when the kids were here. Um, and to Jesse, my crazy neighbor, for all of you that don't watch me, I have the greatest crazy neighbor I love. He's sick with a cold. That's another weird thing I want to talk about. There's like some crazy viruses going around. Everybody, I'm like trying to avoid some people. So, because it's just like a really bad head cold. So, I'm frying the hamburger like always, and I'll drain it. And I spray the pan. And I buy the stand in stuff tacos. And then, oh, and I'm cleaning. Um, then I just use the taco mix, and I followed the instructions. Our uh, brown meat, stir and stuffing, I um, mean stuffing, seasoning. <laughs> no, stuffing. And, uh, um, I don't remember, see how much water. Uh, three fourths cup. You know, and then I let it cook down. So I'll show you how that goes. And then basically, to bake them, I bake them on. 375 and I smothered them with cheese before I put them in 
So I'll show you the part where they're ready to go into the oven. And then I just let the cheese melt until it's melted the way I like it. Like I, I like it just a little brown, you know, just a little. And that's it. Then you put the junk on them that you like. That's all it is to bacon tacos. Well, that's them ready to go. I two left over. I think it's because it's the stand-up ones. They're bigger. Well, don't new. So that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna put it in the oven. I don't know. I'll tell you how long it takes. Because I don't know how long it takes. <laughs> so that's them. It was 20 minutes at 375. So that's it for me. But like I said, um, and for Jesse, I'll just throw sour cream on him and purple onion. That's all he likes. I, he hates chicken soup, so, but they say he's getting better. Oh, by the way, the kids and I bought these. I do not like them, so I'm just going to take the rest of them over to him. They're just like, I don't know, they taste kind of stale. I don't know. But see all this caramel? We haven't yet found one that actually had that. <laughs> They're like a dry, oh, I don't know, cookie dough. I mean, uh, brownie. With very little stuff on top of them. At least the couple. Because Gabe, was it Gabe or Kylie? No, Kylie wanted one. And hers was not, it did not look like that. She was pretty upset that they lied. So, I'm going to take Jesse over some of these and I'm going to take a shower, watch TV, and hopefully paint my nails black. I am tired. I love you guys.